so you're thinking about moving to Bothell, Washington. Well, in today's video, we are gonna go over the pros and the cons, the yin and the yang, the good and the bad, to help you determine if Bothell may be a right fit for you. And we are gonna get after it right now. <laughs> time to our channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in the greater Seattle area, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know about our greater Seattle real estate market. My name is Jess. My husband Sterling and I are realtors here in the area. Our team gets calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make their move here and we absolutely love it. So whether you're planning to make that move next week, next month, or even next year, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love to help you make your move to the greater Seattle area. So right off the bat, our first pro for Bothell is the fact that it's just in a great Northeast location in the greater Seattle area. So it is located in the Northeast part of Lake Washington, which makes it super convenient if you work North. Let's say you work in Everett or Marysville, it's very easy to hop on I-405, connect to I-5 and head North. Or if you work on the east side in any of the tech industries, you can head south on I-405 and get to Redmond, Kirkland, and Bellevue. It's also fairly convenient to get around the lake because you're located at the north part. So you can take Highway 522, get around the top of the lake, and connect to I-5 that way. So it's situated in just a very convenient location. It's also within 20 minutes of both Alderwood Mall and Bellevue Square Mall. So again, very close to other amenities like shopping. So next up, Bothell has an abundance of outdoor natural green space and beautiful parks. So it has 26 parks, about 400 acres of natural outdoor green space. It's also connected to a great trail system. So what is really cool is that right in downtown Bothell, there is the park at Bothell Landing. And not only is it a great park if you have kids because it has a fun play area, but if you like to kayak, you can rent kayaks there. It's right on the Sammamish River, so it's beautiful in that park. It also has an amphitheater and historical museum that consists of three buildings built in the late 1800s. And you can tour these homes, the inside of these homes on Sundays from April through October. However, even if they're not open, uh, you can also just walk around and look in the windows. It's pretty neat to learn about the unique history of Bothell right there in that park. It also has a beautiful pedestrian bridge that takes you across the Sammamish River and connects you to the Sammamish River trail system. What's really cool about this is if you take that trail north and east, it will take you up and around into Woodenville, down through Redmond, and end at Merrimore Park. Now, if you take that trail south, it's going to turn into the Burke Gilman Trail, which will take you south along Lake Washington, down through the University District, across through Fremont, and on into Ballard, where it ends at the Ballard Rocks. This is a fantastic trail if you like to run, jog, walk, bike. It is just great to get outdoors and enjoy the greater Seattle area. And you have access to it right in downtown Botha, which is great. If you're into trail riding and hiking, North Creek Forest is 64 acres of fun to explore, and that's also located right within Bothell. Blythe Park is another great park in Bothell that has a picnic area, a play area, and also has more trails. Another great thing about Bothell is that it has a nice downtown area that does give it a sense of community. So Bothell has really invested some good money into making their downtown area really nice. So you have some older parts and some newer parts, you have some condo and apartments down there and just some really cute bakeries and restaurants. One really fun place to visit when you're in downtown Bothell is McMinniman's Anderson School. Now Anderson School was built in the 1930s. It was actually the first junior high that was built in Bothell. McMinniman's came along and bought it and turned it into a hotel that has three restaurants and three breweries. You can also walk around the grounds, you can check out the pool, you can walk to the principal's office. It's just a really fun place to go and visit and enjoy in the downtown area. Bothell is affordable. Now, this is relative, of course, because in the greater Seattle area, homes are very expensive, especially when you're comparing to the national average. However, Bothell has so many great things going for it. And as it is one of the top suburbs in Seattle, it 
also being more affordable than some of the other top suburbs does have an advantage to it. So as of this recording, the median home value is $875,000, which when you compare it to some of the other top Seattle suburbs, they're north of a million dollars. So that is a great benefit to looking in the Bothell area while also not being too far away from some of those other great Seattle suburbs as well. Bothell has great schools. So Bothell is part of the North Shore School District, which ranks number five in the state of Washington and gets an A plus according to niche.com. Now, as we mentioned in the map video for Bothell, the city of Bothell itself is part of the North Shore School District and some of the unincorporated parts of Bothell are also part of the North Shore School District. However, you will need to keep in mind that there are parts of unincorporated Bothell that are part of the Snohomish County School District or the Everett School District. Now, both of those get an A minus. So it really will depend on the exact school that you are a part of or looking to send your kids to to determine whether or not that home is the right fit for you but overall it is ranking fairly high when it comes to school ratings. So that is definitely a pro for Bothell. And last on our list of pros, this may also be a con for some, so it really depends on what you're looking for, but Bothell has a great suburban feel to it. So if you're looking for a place to live that has vibrant restaurants and shops and a great nightlife, Bothell will probably not be the right fit. However, it isn't too far from some of those other locations. The city of Bothell itself has around 47,000 residents, and there are a lot more in unincorporated part of Snohomish County that also has Bothell addresses. If you are looking for newer construction homes that are in a newer platted community that have that neighborhood feel to them with sidewalks, they're quiet and peaceful, Bothell has that for you. It is going to be a little bit further out. You are going to need your car. It's gonna take you anywhere from five to 10 minutes to get to the closest grocery store. However, if you're looking for something that is a little bit more peaceful and quiet and has that neighborhood feel to it, Bothell could be a great fit for you. Now for the cons, but before we get to those, if you are seriously considering making Bothell your home, then be sure to check out our other two videos. One is a walking neighborhood vlog tour where we show you three different homes and three different price points. There's some really great driving footage there. The other one is a map tour of Bothell that shows you the layout of Bothell, what you can expect, different amenities, and where they're located. So do check both of those out. Fun fact, Bothell is partly in Snohomish County and partly in King County. So if you're interested to learn more, do check out that map video. Now on to our cons. Bothell is very suburban. And yes, that was on the pros list. So it really comes down to your personal taste and what you're looking for. If you're looking for an area that's walkable, Bothell's not gonna be it unless you live in a condo or an apartment downtown or one of the homes that are very close to the downtown center. You will need to use your car to drive to get to places. Another important thing to know is that the homes built within the city limits of Bothell, most of them were built from the 1930s to the 1980s. Now some of them have been remodeled and updated. There are also smaller plats of newer construction homes or single homes that have been torn down and built up new. But if you're looking for newer construction plat of homes that has kind of that neighborhood feel to it, then you will wanna go even further out to the unincorporated parts of Snohomish County that have the Bothell address. And so another thing to note with that is that you are gonna be even further out. It is gonna take you longer to get into downtown Bothell and to get to other surrounding areas. So it does come down to your personal taste and what it is that you're looking for. The next con goes right along with our last point in it being suburban. And with that comes the fact that while it has the basic amenities, it's not going to have the restaurants and the shopping and the nightlife and all of the active things. If you're looking for that active lifestyle, Bothell is not going to be that place. It is going to take you 15 to 20 minutes and that's in good traffic to get around, to get to some bigger areas with more amenities. So do keep that in mind. If you live in Bothell, you will need to be relying on your car to get around. And next on our list is the fact that Bothell can get backed up with heavy congestion. So it has two main roads that run through it. One is Highway 522, and that runs east and west. So you have a lot of commuters coming from the west side to try to get over to the east side across the top of Lake Washington. That can get backed up during rush hour. 
more. You also have the University of Washington Bothell campus that also has Cascadia Community College. So people trying to get to and from that area, it's right in the downtown part of Bothell where 522 intersects with I-405. So that can get backed up. And then running north to south through Bothell, you have I-405 and you have commuters coming further north that are heading south on the east side to try to get to those tech jobs. Also, if you work in downtown Seattle, Bothell may just be too far removed. In good traffic, you can get to the University of Washington within 25 to 30 minutes and to downtown Seattle in 35 to 40 minutes. But with rush hour and congestion or accidents, it can take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to get to downtown Seattle. So if that's the case, Bothell may just be too far removed if that is your daily commute every day. And with that, we hope you found today's video helpful. If you are seriously considering making Bothell your next home, then be sure to check out those other two videos and don't hesitate to reach out with any further questions. And whether you're planning to make the move next week, next month, or next year, give us a call, shoot us a text, reach out. We'd love to help you make your smooth move to the greater Seattle area.